Yeah, hey everyone, this is Dwayne with Dwayne's Diagnostics and Mobile Auto Repair. And uh, I am working on this uh, 2010 Corolla again today. And uh, I actually already made a few videos about it before. But um, I actually didn't uh, prove my theory or actually prove the diagnosis. I kind of did show it, but uh, I didn't actually prove it uh, on the camera uh, what my theory on what going what was going on was with it but uh i was going to show it here today and uh i'll show you when i uh start this thing it starts there's no tachometer actually there's no uh speedometer either there's all kinds of warning lights tpms abs airbag power steering maintenance a brake light and uh I'll show you if I try to uh scan all the modules it's not going to scan all the modules it's only going to scan like four of them because it uh doesn't have communication on the uh can lines to talk to the other modules so I'm doing an auto scan here and uh this is the only four modules it will communicate with because they're actually on a uh, separate network than uh, the CAN bus. So um, I probably won't go through all of this that I did before uh, showing you on the scope what was going on. But there's actually uh, right now if I scope this, the CAN lines, uh, CAN low would be at zero and... Uh, there, there would be a bad signal on can high and uh that's why the car is not wanting to communicate with my scan tool but uh i'll turn this thing off and i'll have to pause the video for a second because i got to unplug a connector here And actually what I'll do, I'll show you the uh, problem here before I unplug that connector. But uh, I'm tapped into the uh, DLC on the ground pin and on the can low with my ohm meter. And I got 2.9 ohms there. And there should not be continuity there. And if I go to the can high line... We got 62 ohms right there which there should not be uh, continuity there either so uh, that verifies that there's a uh, short to ground on the can lines which uh, that is what was causing all of the problems and uh, it's actually due to a the uh, steering sensor is shorted so uh, if I unplug that sensor uh, there will uh, no longer be a short to ground and it will actually uh, restore communication with my scan tool and uh, it'll get rid of all, a bunch of the warning lights and uh, it'll actually restore the uh, tachometer and speedometer. So I'll pause the video and unplug this connector and show you. Okay, so now I've got this uh, steering sensor unplugged and I'm probed into ground and can low and now it's showing no continuity to ground and I can uh, probe probe can high here too now I'm probed into can high and ground and it's also showing no continuity an open circuit so uh, that verifies that this sensor is shorted internally to ground so I just figured I would show that and I can show you also that communication will be restored with the scan tool and the speedometer and tachometer will work again and it won't have all the warning lights that it had before
There we got a tachometer and speedometer. No more uh, ABS light, airbag light, power steering light. And now it should communicate with all the modules. So there we go, it's done. It's done scanning all the modules, it's at 100%. And uh, scanned 11 modules this time. The ones that it wouldn't communicate with before. So uh verifies the problem there. And uh, the owner actually bought a new sensor for me to replace it. This is the new one here. And I actually did uh, ohm it out, ohm out the uh, the can terminals and ground. And there actually is uh, no continuity between them on this new sensor. So this should be a good sensor. So um, now I'll just, uh, I'll have to replace this sensor. But I just wanted to get that on video because I didn't show it in any of my other previous videos. So I just wanted to get that on video and uh, kind of prove that to myself and be able to show it on video that... Uh, my theory was right that 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 sensor was uh shorting out the can lines to ground but uh yeah i don't know if i'll uh get any video of actually replacing this sensor or not uh this might be the end of this video but yeah i just wanted to show that and uh kind of prove my theory and show it on camera but uh hopefully somebody out there liked this video or maybe found it uh entertaining in some way but uh, yeah, that's probably all I'll, uh, all I got on this one.